The 7000 series digital oscilloscope comes equipped with six instruments in one. These include a four channel analog scope, 16 channel logic analyzer, two channel waveform generator, digital voltmeter, counter and totalizer, and finally a protocol analyzer. To start off with, I have channel one on our four channel analog scope connected to channel one on our waveform generator. And as we can see on our waveform generator, we're currently producing a sync function. But then some of the other advantages of having the built-in waveform generator is say if I turn on channel 2 and then our second waveform generator, we've got our standard sort of waveforms, our sine wave, square wave, ramp, pulse, DC, noise. Then we've also got a couple built-in waveforms already, arbitrary waveforms already, like the sync function, our um, Laplace function, and then we've also got our arbitrary waveform function. If we go ahead and click on this, it brings up our menu. And with this, we can actually choose a couple of different options to load an arbitrary waveform file. We can choose to load off, say, one of the analog channels, load a stored waveform, or create our own, and then edit them. So say if we load a channel off, let's say, load channel 1 onto channel 2, the way we can do this is either through screen data or through the cursors. So if we use the cursor data, what we can do is we can select two points. Say for this one, I'm just going to select two the peak points. And what we can do is once we've set them, we can then load them directly on. And as we can see up on channel two, we've now loaded a sync function. And at this point, if we want to do further analysis of this function, we can then edit the signal and we can change our frequency. Currently it's just set at the 1 kilohertz, but we can always increase this up to say 10 kilohertz, or we can decrease it to allow us to further look at the signal in a slower form. Now that we've got these turned on, another useful tool that's built into the instrument is we have our counter function, which the counter function can be used to both count the frequency, but it can also be used to measure the period, and then the totalize, so the number of peaks. Additionally, we've got a digital voltmeter built in, which if we go into the measurement menu and then analysis, we can then turn on the digital voltmeter. And right now I've got this set up for channel 1, and it's hidden right here. And if we pull it out, we can see we're showing our voltage. Next we can turn on our 16-channel logic analyzer. In this case, we have on the bottom our clock signal, and above that is our data signal below, and that's for an I squared C signal. We can also then go over to our trigger menu to make that a little bit more stable, and go down to I squared C. And then once we've got that turned on, we've got our I squared C signal a little bit more stable on the bottom of the screen. We can also then decode the signal. Do this, we go into the decode menu and then just turn it on. And currently, we have on our screen, once I set this, I'll actually stop this. Currently, we have all six instruments that are built into the 7000 series listed. We've got our counter, our waveform generator active on both analog channels, our digital voltmeter, our logic analyzer, and then finally our protocol analyzer. If you have any questions about this instrument or family of instruments, please contact us at Regal or visit regalna.com for more details.